Members of the Bemidji community were taught about a way to slow down or stop a drug overdose. Representatives from the Steve Rumler Hope Foundation visited on Wednesday evening to teach about a chemical called naloxone. If a person overdoses in someone's nearby, they can insert a device which contains a dose of naloxone into the body and temporarily stops the drugs from affecting the brain. The trainers say this equipment is often unavailable with law enforcement centers, but Bemidji police say they're well aware as their ambulances carry them, but squad cars don't just yet. There's an amount of training that has to happen. There also is funding. This uh, product isn't free. We had to overcome some obstacles with uh, uh, how do we keep it in vehicles that sometimes they freeze, sometimes they get hot. Again, we get into that temperature control. This is a medication, and oftentimes when you change the temperature of a medication, it can degrade its uh, usefulness and degrade the chemical compound. They also discussed a newer Minnesota law called Steve's Law, which gives limited immunity to someone who sees an overdose and maybe feels scared of getting into trouble. Bemidji and Beltrami County Police say they know about that too. They're planning to hold a training session together with Northwest EMS near the end of the month in order to teach officers how to use, how to use naloxone. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.